Hello everyone and welcome to Chatter Mom. I'm your host, Kimberly Bachman. Today's topic is tedious teething. So your child's been sleeping through the night and you're getting some rest finally and all of a sudden, bam, they're up again. What's the cause? Teething. Today I will share facts, symptoms, and ways to comfort them. So let's chat. Teething usually occurs between four and seven months of age. Although all children are different, your child will have all of their teeth by three years old. And it can be very painful. Let's take a moment and we're gonna go to Connor, who is about five, six months, and he's having a teething tantrum. Take a look. <coughs> Poor Connor, I feel so bad. But here are some signs and symptoms that your child is teething. Your child could be drooling a lot because they're producing more saliva in their mouth. They're biting and chewing on everything. Uh, irritability, wakefulness, um, even ear rubbing. If they're breaking a tooth on a certain side of the mouth, the, they'll start tugging on their ear. Um, if they have a fever over 101, it's not teething. So call the doctor because it could be an ear infection. Swollen, red gums, loss of appetite. If your teeth were bothering you, would you want to suck on a bottle? I don't think so. So how can we make this experience go a little bit smoother for moms? I've asked plenty of Chatter Mom fans out there, and here's their insight on what they had to say. So here I have Jean. Jean said Highland Teething Gel. It worked for her. I have a sample of the teething tablets right over here. I've actually used these on my daughter and it worked for me. However, it does contain an ingredient called belladonna, which if consumed in higher doses can cause serious side effects. So I do like them. They dissolve in the mouth. And I always give lower, like, recommend, um, if it recommends two to three, like, tablets, I always give, like, one to two. Because I never want to even get in that area of possible, like, side effects or symptoms. So just be careful when using them. But I do like them because there's no choking hazard. But as a mom, you make the best choice for your child. Another um, Cheddar Mom fan, Renee, she mentioned frozen bagels or washcloths and a shot of whiskey for mom. I did try the frozen washcloths. So you take a washcloth and what you do is you wet one side of it. I found that you should leave about an inch or two on the end. Don't wet that because it's hard for your child to hold when it's freezing. So you just wet it, stick it in the fridge and the, the babies just chomp on it like this. And it actually soothes them very well. So that is something to consider if you haven't tried it yet. I also have uh, Rachel. She stayed or gel worked for her children. I did use Oragel a lot. I'm not gonna lie to you, I have it over here, and they actually make it for nighttime and daytime. Before I gave it to my child, I totally tried it on myself, and it does work. If you are gonna give your child Oragel, just use a little bit, like a little dab, because um, that's all you need to do the trick. You don't wanna numb the poor kid whole all up. Um, so just make sure that you uh, follow the directions when um, actually using the Oragel. Um, also, um, Teresa stated that she made fruit popsicle sticks that worked wonders for her. At four months, your baby starts solids, and basically, they'll get fruits and vegetables. So obviously, make the popsicle sticks with fruits and vegetables that they've already uh, had so that you don't have any allergic reactions. So thank you to the Cheddar Moms fans out there um, for your insight, and I hope it actually, um, if you haven't tried one of them, you might want to start trying them. So after doing an extensive amount of research, I found one element that I feel that most moms need to know when comforting your child. It's massaging their gums. Right here, I have, it's actually a child's first toothbrush. It has a little brush on the end. And what you need to do is just put it in the baby's mouth and massage the gums. This way, it's gonna loosen up um, their gum tissue and it will make, when the teeth are ready to break um, the gums, it will make it a little more comforting. And you can start doing this as soon as the baby is born. So when you do get to that teething stage, their gums are so loose that popping through might not even be an issue. Um, also, um, you can start brushing their teeth using this. This is Nuke Infant Tooth and Gum Cleanser. The key is no fluoride. They can't swallow it, they will choke. So make sure you get a toothpaste that has no fluoride. And again, it's just another way for you to brush your teeth, but massaging their gums. It's a real key factor. If you're not doing it, you're 
pretty much need to start. Another thing are the teething rings. I think they're great because you can put them in the you know freezer and they're filled with water so you know the baby can sit here and chow. I don't know. But I my children never did the teething rings because one my uh, my daughter was four months when she started teething and she couldn't even pretty much like hold this. It kept falling on the floor to even get it in her mouth so she would just get angry that it kept falling. All my daughter wanted to do was to take her fingers and put it exactly where the pain was and gnaw. She would even take my hands. So I came up with the Finger Ease Teether. It's actually patent pending and it's uh, filled with water just like these teethers are. It has textures all around and it goes on an adult finger just like this. The baby puts it wherever they want in their mouth and gnaws on it. Best part, it's uh, dishwasher safe and you can put it in the refrigerator and freezer. So you don't have to worry about all the germs that your child is putting in their mouth. Hopefully this will be on the market within the next year. But here's a clip of how to use the fingertip teether. Take a look. Viv has been using the fingertip teether for a couple minutes now and she's taking it and putting it into the back of her mouth and really chomping and gnawing on it. She was a little fussy crying and as soon as she got it in her mouth she stopped crying so she seems to really enjoy it. So be, um, be sure to look for the finger ease in the market eventually. It's still patent pending but I will be out there within a year with my new product. And actually the last thing I want to talk about was Tylenol, Tylenol, Tylenol. Tylenol for you, Tylenol for baby. Because my doctor said that I can give my child Tylenol every night when they're teething because they are in an immense amount of pain. Face it, you need to get sleep. Don't be afraid to use Tylenol every night if possible. One ingredient that you need to look out for as a mom is any gel or um, teething product that contains benzocaine. The FDA actually just released a warning against it, um, so make sure, uh, beware, and check to see if your child, um, if any of the gels or um, the tablets um, are containing that. Do not give that to your child. So well, I hope I informed you a little bit about teething and how to cope. My favorite number is number three. So the third person to comment on this episode is going to receive a free finger ease teether from me. And remember, moms, it's going to get better. So hang in there. This is Chatter Mom. I'm Kimberly Bachman. See you next time.